Hi, welcome back to part three. In this final video, I'll be showing you the effects I use to finish off the Puma. First up is adding some light dust. To achieve the first light dusting effect, I use some Humbrol Satin number 71. This was then heavily thinned with some enamel thinners. Then using my airbrush set to a low pressure, I started to mist this underneath the model, then around the wheels, into the wheel hubs, and then misted it along the lower sides of the vehicle. After letting the first effect dry overnight, it was time to add the dust streaking. To do this, I used some wilder light dust and some white oil paint. I then mix this together to vary the colour and then place small dots of the mixture onto areas where I wanted the dust runs to appear. I then used a flat brush dampened in thinners and then dragged these dust dots downwards to replicate the dust runs which would appear on the vehicle. I went quite heavy with the dots and streaking on the side of the hull as I wanted to give it a heavily worn look. Don't forget that you can have dust streaking on horizontal surfaces as vehicles are not always parked or stopping on flat terrain. I now thinned these oils with more enamel thinner, making a dust coloured wash and applied this to the areas where I thought dust would gather. and blended the edges away with more thinner. Now it was time to add dust to the tyres using the colours for the streaking as well as some raw umber and sepia oil paint. I made a wash thinning these with enamel thinners and added this to the wheels and tyres. Don't forget the spare wheel. After about 10 minutes of drying I added more of the wash but lightened with more white paint. To give the effect of light rust on the model I now used burnt sienna again heavily thinned and layer this onto the areas such as the jerry can metal straps, the jerry cans themselves, the bumper and the tools. And don't forget to use some thinner to blend the rust away. Using dark brown, yellow ochre and white, I then added these to the sienna from earlier and blended dots of these colours onto the rear deck with some thinner, just to add some colour tone to it. The tarpaulin was fixed in place onto the rear of the vehicle. I made this from some green stuff, two part epoxy putty, and I painted it in oils and acrylics. I will be showing how I make and paint these stowage items in a future video. One good way to give a grubby look to the hatches and stowage lockers is to use some MIG oil brusher Starship filth. Paint around the hatch edges. and then using a soft brush, buff and scrub the paint into the base colour.
Here you can see me applying the same colour around the crew access point where their boots and hands will be all grubby from getting in and out of the vehicle. Using some Vallejo black, brown and burnt umber, I now painted the head pads on the commander and loaders. Once that was dry, I then used some burnt umber oil paint and just blended this over the top, just to give some texture to the pad. Once dry, using some black Vallejo acrylic paint, I then dry brush the tread and wall of the tyres with a flat brush as well as a soft sponge makeup applicator. The next day, after another period of drying, I added another dust wash using only the wilder light dust and white this time, starting around the inner rim before moving onto the tread. I didn't do the spare this time. Some of the wash was now removed with a clean makeup applicator. Once the wash was dry, I used some wilder black brown on the walls of the tires, again using a makeup applicator. Raw umber and sepia oils were then applied to the wheel hubs to give the impression of heavy wear, again using the makeup applicator. Now using dark brown oil paint, I now added some more dirt runs to the side lockers. And also use it to pick out more of the chip in on the bumper. And around the cruise hatches and blending it in to add a few stains to the roof. Now using 502 Abtalung engine grease oil paint, I added some fuel spills and other stains around the vehicle. Don't forget to use some thinner to make some of the stains look old. Using the same paint, thinned with enamels, I then added some dirt and grubbiness underneath the turret ring. To make the detail stand out on the model, I mixed all of the oils I had used previously. Then using a finely pointed brush, I picked out items such as the jerry can straps, tool clasps, bolts, hinges, padlocks and all other items I wanted to make stand out. Using some black pigment powder, I added some soot to the exhaust and to the barrel's muzzle brake. A graphite pencil was now used on areas where the paint would wear away, and I used my finger to give a slight polish to the graphite. I'd assembled the figures previously and painted these in oils and acrylics. These were now glued in place and a small map added to highlight the fact that the crew were lost. Aftermarket leaves and some garden scrap was now added around the vehicle and to the cam net and secured with some PVA glue. Finally, I used a pencil to pick out the detail on the padlocks and their chains. And that was the model finished. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It's free. All the best. Bye for now.